Now that we have the symbol and footprint ready, let's link both of them. So how do we do that? If you double click on the instance here, it opens the properties. And if you go down, there's something called add footprint. So when you browse, you can find the PCB library that you created and the footprint that you created. Say OK, OK, and you can see that in your um, layout as well. So that is done. Save this. Let's now validate that whatever we did is right. So I just created a dummy schematic and PCB document. Let me go to schematic, place, components, and uh, in the drop down, find the schematic library that you created. You can see the symbol here. Place it. All right. Um, let's just connect a few things to see that it's connecting properly. Uh, let me just wire this up quickly. Okay, and then place net label on all three of this. This will be A into this will be VDD. Let's just say this is A into just to uh, verify our connection. All right. Uh, and I'm going to annotate tools, annotation, annotate schematic, update change this. You, it's just one component, so you can do that manually. But I wanted to show you guys that if you put a question mark and then it changes it to a number automatically. Obviously, there are a lot of errors, but we're going to ignore that for now. And then go to design, update PCB. You're going to validate and execute changes. All right, there's the PCB that you just, the footprint that you just did. The DRC errors is because your rules are set to less, like it will show an error if it's less than 10 mils. You can change that in your design rules or just ignore this. So as you can see, the A into net and the A into net here is connected. And then the third pin is ground. And this pin is VDD. That means the creation of the library for this component, the birth symbol and footprint was successful.